Okay, so in this question, we want to find the amount of work required to pump half of the water out of the hemisphere shown below. So we're assuming it's full of water, and we want to get it to where it's half full. Um, okay, so again, you guys can put your axis wherever you want. I'm going to put it at the bottom. And I'm going to draw a uh, random slab of water. So this slab of water has a radius r. I'm going to call that little r. And so what I need to do is find the amount of work required to take this slab of water from where it is, which in this case, because of where I've placed my axis, um, it's located at y. And I need to find the work required to get it from y up and out of this spout, which is uh, two higher than the top of the hemisphere. OK, so uh, to do that, remember we, we go through our usual. We find the area of the slab, and then we find the volume of the slab, and then we find the mass of the slab, then we find the force of the slab, then we find the work for that slab. And then um, we integrate to find the work required to get it entirely out. OK, so let's start off with the um, area. So the area of the slab is um, equal to pi r squared, obviously. Now r here, uh, I need to figure out a way to find it. So um, notice that the distance from um, the center of the hemisphere to any part outside on the edge, I mean, is going to be equal to ten, the radius 10. So the distance from here to here, that's equal to 10. And also from the center to the very bottom, that's also 10. So that means that this guy right here, that's equal to 10 minus y. So then what that means is that r is equal to the square root of 10 squared, or 100, minus uh, 10 minus y squared. OK, so then uh, the area of that slab is going to equal to pi times this guy squared, which is um, going to be uh, 100 minus. So I'm going to expand the 10 minus y squared. So 100 minus 10 squared is 100 uh, minus uh, 20y and then plus y squared. OK, so then the area of the slab is uh, pi times 100 minus 100, so this is just equal to positive 20y minus y squared. OK, and so then um, this is in uh, units of square meters. Let me write this here. So the work for the slab the work to get the slab out is going to be uh, pi times 20y minus y squared meter squared. And then I'm going to multiply that times, um, I'm going to remove the parentheses. So just delta y uh, meters, which is going to give me volume, and then multiply that by the density, which is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, which is going to give me the mass, times 9.8 meters per second squared, which is going to give me the force. And then times, now this one is critical, this is the distance 
that this slab needs to travel to go out of the tank from where it is outside. So this um, guy is located at Y. So then uh, the distance that it needs to travel is going to be uh, 12 minus Y meters. So just to make sure that that's clear, let's just kind of pretend that um, this slab is located at y equals to, let's just say 4, for example. So if this guy's at y equals to 4, then um, what's going to happen is this guy is going to need to travel um, another 6 to get to the top because it's 10 from here to here. So it's going to need to go 6 plus another 2, so that's 8. So 12 minus 4 is going to be uh, 8. So that works. Um, so that's the explanation for uh, that guy. Now, depending on your setup, this might have been different uh, because of where you put your axis, but it would still be correct as long as these match up. Where you place your axis, uh, the distance, this has to be the distance that it needs to go out, and uh, your limits of integration should also match. Uh, but anyways, um, if I simplify this, I'm going to get 9800 pi times uh, 20y minus y squared times uh, 12 minus y. So then the total work would be the integral of this guy, 9800 pi times 20y minus y squared times 12 minus y with respect to y. Um, oh, I forgot my delta y here. Remember that turns to dy as uh, delta y goes to 0. Now this is important since we're pumping half of the water out of the tank. Um, the limits of integration have to represent what y is going to go from and to. So um, since we want to pump half of the water out um, and I have my um, setup here as my distance that the slab of water needs to travel is 12 minus y, then it, what it's going to do is it's going to go from 5 all the way up to 10. So um, basically my first slab of water, for example, is when y is equal to 5. So that one needs to travel 12 minus 5 or 7. So the one, the very first one needs to go a total of 7 meters to get out, which makes sense because it needs to go 5 plus another 2. And then the last one, which is located at y equals 10, is going to travel 12 minus 10 or 2. So that's the most important thing, that those, um, those match. And so then uh, the total is going to equal to um, 1 6 1 8 5 sorry 9 5 9 times 10 to the 7 joules.